Uh oh, candy aisle. Uh, oh my gosh, this is what I want. Hello. Um, this is something special that we're going to show you in a little bit. It's where we're living. But let's come back to that. We're going to go shopping first. We're in Stornoway. This is our town. So some of you guys have seen my Instagram posts and, and uh, even articles. I rep uh, RPM West clothing a lot. They were kind enough to let me get a replacement. These pants just aren't fitting the way I'd like them to on my body. So I'm getting a new pair. Thank you guys. Gonna send them off to the post office. We just went to the post office and there wasn't very big of a line, which I was thinking, that's awesome because there's always a huge line at the post office. Why not live on an island? Right, so we're headed off to the Tesco now. We're gonna get some groceries and we're gonna come back and show you guys our new place. The thing is, is that this place does not give us all our meals. So, lunch and dinner are on us, which means cheap meals is the way to go. That's right, so the grocery store is where we're headed. Ashley has made a whole shopping list, this and list. she's really done her homework here. Um, we have, we should show them my meal plan. I have lunch and dinner planned for the next week. Gross. When you're on a budget, you gotta do something. Hey, I guess, that's true. Okay. Um, this is, I think, sour cream. Cream. And this is cheddar cheese. These look really hard. It's just it's just uncolored as best I can tell. Did you know that cheddar cheese is not actually this color? They put coloring in it. That's why that is white and this is yellow. This is colored. That's a lot of cheese, girl. Grail, yeah, that's a lot of cheese. It's same, same price. <gasps> oh, well then heck. And then we can use it on like baked potatoes because I have a lot of potatoes here. Oh, that's true. Here's some more cookie. I'm keeping you around. Oh, see? We're, we're Mixing meals. Uh-huh. It's times like this that I wonder, am I actually being helpful or am I just sort of standing here giving my opinions and stopping her from actually shopping? I think that's what's actually happening here. It's 750 grams pounds. How many pounds is that? I need a pound How many pounds meat. is 750 grams? I don't know. You're going to have to convert it to our system. I don't have a phone. Hold on. Let me wait. I'm going to go with one and a half pounds. Boom! Oh, okay, that's I'm gonna go with the jiggle test. But that is so much cheaper. We should make like burgers instead of. You wanna do that? <laughs> instead of instead what? Instead of kebabs. Because we already have tomatoes, we already have lettuce. Yeah. We can just do it on our sandwich bread. Let's do a burger. Uh oh, candy aisle. Uh, oh my gosh. This is what I want. Squishies. They're called squishies. Tomorrow's our day off. So tomorrow we're going to do a tasting of crazy snacks. Oh, bubblegum flavor? Oh, I really don't like bubblegum you can't, flavor. You can't read the, the labels too much. <laughs> Tesco Hall 2016. So much good stuff. All right. Go to the back of the hostel. And this, this is where we're staying. Ashley gets her tiny home dreams. All right, show us, show us your crib. And this is it. We have a little sitting room. Yeah. A little, little thing that we don't need because it's hot outside. This is the most beautiful day Scotland has ever had. It's genuinely hot outside right now. This is like California weather. There's a love oh, yeah, making. Back, back to the thing. This is where we make, make our bed. Snuggle. And really, that's about it. We have a shelf, a bed, a sitting area. It's perfect. And food storage. Welcome to our tiny home. There we are. And then you head out outstairs, outside. And this is the whole back garden area. And that is a tree fort or tree house. There's a DV play up there and a bed. You can actually hang out there. You can sleep and live there if you really wanted to. So this is on the island of Stornoway. Sorry, the city of Stornoway and the island of Lewis. Lewis and Harris are two islands that share the exact same landmass. Why they call them two different islands, nobody knows. But this is the Hebb Hostel. 
And any guesses as to why it's called the Heb? Any guesses? Ashley, why is it called the Heb Hostel? Because we are in the Hebrides, which is oh. a grouping of islands in western Scotland. Well, hello, Heb Hostel. A whole common area here. That's obviously the guitar I use. This is our friend. Hello. Oh, yeah. And we got a stove. This, the whole area is so nice. Oh, this is where Ashley makes my food. <clears throat> Obvious normal kitchen stuff. These stoves are everywhere up here, and I love them because they use them to heat the water, to dry things, to warm the place. We have our own little fridge. This is our mini yeah. fridge. Fridge and our foods inside that we just went grocery shopping for. Most important thing right there in the door. <clears throat> and we have our own little cupboard. In the private cupboard. That is our cupboard right there. So there's several different dorm rooms, and I don't know if people are actually in them or not. So hopefully not catching people dressing. This is where we stayed the first night, the dorm room there. Just tons of people here today. Uh, this is the girls' dorm. There's a gorgeous bathroom back there. Hold on. Any girls? No girls? Okay. You have to check this bathroom out. Look at this. This is such a beautiful bathroom. How come the girls get it so good? And then just upstairs, there's like a whole family dorm that you can go up there, and that's where we get all our cleaning supplies, those two closets. It's, a, it's pretty straightforward. It's a really cool old house, and they just turned it into a hostel really not too long ago. This is our little laundry area. We get to do a lot of the laundry, so we get to use this. We just recycled the coins. That's another shower room. That's actually the one that I use because it's closest to our place. But I want to show you guys something that's really cool because I just love this. All this peat, that's what we use for our fireplace. It's stored in this, uh, this tree here. Pretty dang cool. Got a pretty cool setup. Yep. You happy? I like it. Yeah? Yep. We are much happier here. Yeah, and really we only have two and a half hours of work each day. That's not a bad trade-off. Yes, we have to buy our own food, but we have breakfast taken care of. So that's, that's not bad at all. It's working out really nicely. Yeah, we have our own place. We're living on an island in Scotland. Not bad. Right, I am about to go start the barbecue. I gotta figure that out. I haven't even looked at it. So I don't even know what's going on with the barbecue yet. But uh, let's go check and see where Ash is at. We're making burgers for the night. Oh, hello, there she is. I'm just making things up. I had a recipe thing, but then I didn't have everything I needed. Mm -hmm. Garlic, onion, paprika, cumin. Paprika? Paprika! Let's have some paprika. paprika. Yeah, it's quite a bit of paprika. Yeah, all right. We're gonna make some barbecue. This, my friends, is the barbecue hut. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? It's like a, literally a barbecue hut. Like, you can hang out here in the cold Scottish winter time, have a barbecue with all your mates just sitting around. This is amazing. Here, oh, by the way, that's our little hut. It's like a little gypsy house there, I guess. I don't know, this, is that how you start a coal fire? You just apply fire and it starts burning? Oh, I can make fire. Right, the fire has officially taken Burgers are going off nicely. These are gonna be well done. It's still a very smoky fire, but you know what? That's gonna be extra flavoring. I can't wait. How do you feel about peat and coal flavored burgers? I don't know. Well, I also put paprika and cumin in them. Oh. Um, we, what did we do? We, we worked this morning here. Yeah, and then we course. went to the grocery store. I did, um, like I planned all. <laughs> I've tried a new we didn't thing. See real buns. <laughs> Instead of like a deconstructed burger like all the cool chefs are doing, I've done mm, an upside are... down burger. And uh, that's what I'm going for. What do you think? Um, well, it looks delicious. We'll see if they're even cooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, magic. <laughs> How'd you do that? Ashley's has already gone as well. <laughs> that was short work. <laughs> 
All right, I think that's it for this night. We had a great barbecue. Delicious. Great suggestion having that tonight. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was totally her idea from the beginning. No, we got we we're gonna get the skewers, but then we way better than kebabs. Yeah. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. We hope we've encouraged you to get out and travel. And good night. Good night. Man, look at this. We got this entire eight-person dorm bedroom to ourselves last night. Good night, sleep. Yeah. But we gotta hurry up. We gotta get to our bus. Like meow. Kick ass hostel, you are pretty great. Awesome. Alright, off to the bus. Wait for us! Thank you.